final piece I want to read for you guys is uh, entitled The Devil and Tom Walker. Um, it is actually a, another retelling of an old folk tale. Um, it's a uh, retelling, uh, obviously, of the same name, um, The Devil and Tom Walker by Washington and Irving. Um, short story. And it originated in Massachusetts. And uh, it's actually going to be, the, my poem is actually going to be a series. And this is just the first imagining of kind of the first scene of that story. Um, and it's a work in progress. But. The Devil and Tom Walker. Tom Walker, trudging through sloughs of muck and moss, stops to rest upon a rotten oak half drowned in the mire. Overhead, poison hemlocks and pines make darkness of noonday, trapping the wretched blackness in. He sits and stirs a stagnant pool, watching water snakes slither out of the murky bog and round his cane. His staff strikes something solid, a cloven skull, opened up, split in two. What a fate to die here, this stranger in this dreary, cursed quag. All around the signatures of a hundred fools are carved in the oaks by their own pocket knives. The most have been hacked, some trunks still stand, bearing the insignias of prominent men who had trudged the same path to barter for gold. Walker recalls the legend of the Indian treasure, said to be buried in Satan's swamp, of all the wretches who'd sought it and returned wealthy men. Eager to make his mark, Walker smiles at the thought, then stops. The hair on his neck stands stiff. The dark man approaches. Walker can hear his heavy sinking steps, the smell and sulfur, smoke and blood. He turns. And there sits old Scratch, that black, monstrous man, with grinning snow-white teeth and empty egg-white eyes, upon a stump, a lumberjack's axe over his shoulder, come to barter for a soul. Thank you.